Jeff, we've been playing Death Stranding. I hang on. I, oh, oh, sh- sh- let me check. As of October sixteenth, twelve oh one a.m., you may share that you have the game. Oh, finally. Okay, we have. It Death is Stranding. the third. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, you Jeff, may share that you have the game. Jeff, I'd like to share with you that we have Death Stranding. Okay. Um, I would further like to share with you that I have been playing a lot of Death Stranding. Uh, as of November 1st at 12.01 a.m., you may post your review coverage. Please limit coverage to a written review with 20 screens max. Video review, 20 minutes max. Uh, technical analysis, 10 minutes max. Footage must all be from prologue through the end of Chapter 3. So I, I hope you haven't played, been playing enough to get through the end of Chapter 3, or else am, we're not going to show any of this game. I am pleased uh, to present with you uh, our... Mine and your unscored review of the first two and three quarters chapters review. of Death Stranding. I, I, I look forward to Alex Navarro's <laughs> full coverage. Yeah, so De- it, yeah, Alex will have a full review. Yes, Al- uh, yes, we we will have. Uh, Alex has been been playing uh, playing even more of this game than the I have. Runt, I guess I would say of of the Death Stranding work has uh, come has uh, been uh, laid at Alex's. In a classic sense, Alex Navarro, and it didn't mean for it to end up this way, but oftentimes over the years, a certain type of game was given to Alex for review. Oh, you mean his experience with trucking might be relevant here? I was going to say his experience with awful games, but uh, <laughs> well, but yeah, sure, trucking. Um, that works too. Uh, so yes, uh, Alex will be covering the game, um, and in in that sense, and then we will have additional coverage of the game at a later date. This is not the quick look. This is not the quick the, look. The quick look will follow on or about release date. Uh, and another video I believe. Uh, in a similar vein. Um, I have to say, I have to say, the prospect of covering this game yeah. is creating a lot of mixed feelings. Why, I, find, uh, I, find why it, I find it potentially very liberating mm-hmm. because I feel like I have been bursting at the seams. It's marinating it's a game this game. It, it's a game that inspires discussion. I played something Absolutely. like thirty hours of this game in the last six, seven days. Okay, and I feel like it's doing something to me up here. Mm, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, no. I don't like that. Um, I also find it very intimidating. Covering this well, because it, I don't know where to start. It's yeah. There's there's a, there's certainly a, a don't know where to start uh, aspect to it. There's. Um, I have a I have I have a strong suspicion that Death Stranding is about to be all anybody is talking about. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that's like that's where I'm at. The the thing I'll say it's right now, we're, you know, we're recording this before any of these reviews have come out, and I've talked to exactly one person who has has said that they like like the game, just like straight up, like I really like it. Everyone else has, has had very mixed, just like like it's a complicated thing for them to discuss, mm-hmm. um, and. I think that that discussion, like Death Stranding, I bet will do really well out there because good or bad, there will be some manner of like, I need to see this fucking thing for myself. That's how I feel about it. (laughs) Uh, Having played, let's call it eight hours or something. I don't know. I'm somewhere in chapter two. Mm -hmm. Um, And... um, I stopped because I had other stuff to do. I had mm-hmm. other games to play and, yep. and cover and, and stuff. And, you know, so it wasn't necessarily like, a, I'm never coming back to this game ever again. But also, now that I've freed up some time here and I could be playing it, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Um, I, on the other hand, I want to just... Apologies to, to Vincent Caravella. Mm. I want to steal a line from Vinny. Okay. I don't know if I like this game, uh-huh. but I sure have been playing a lot of it. So let's, basically, where I'm at. So we have we have 20 minutes yes. that we can show yeah. the game. So we're gonna we're gonna use that judiciously, of course, yeah. in classic fashion. Uh-huh. Um, so, but before we get into that, that's, that's why we're kind of you know you're gonna see a lot of us in this video yeah. because you're not gonna see a lot of the game. <laughs> um, and there, there, another factor here is that it is very difficult to get much done in 20 minutes in this game. Yeah. Or if we were to just do one unbroken video. Which is which? We okay, do, we, we cannot, would do about uh, we would do about for, one thing. We cannot in this video. unbroken cannot cannot do oh, that's an unbroken right. video. Can't do that. But even if um, we were to do that, uh, it just would not. Death Stranding is a walking simulator. Okay. Yeah, in we, we, we had this conversation earlier. The literal. It's like I th- it, uh, it's like 
Hideo Kojima mm. or someone close to him heard a lot of people talking about that term <laughs> and went, hmm. did not realize it was conceived. Didn't realize as a, it was as this a, derisive a kind of weird derogatory term. Yeah, that it, that it had this like complicated baggage yeah. uh, associated with it, and just went like, mm, I hear those are hot. I am going to make got it. it. <laughs> And then went out and made something that's like it's part American Truck Simulator, but I'm, also Quop. I'm, uh, I am going to make the first considered mechanically dense walking simulator exact, yeah. in history. That is literally, and then, but then also like someone like that. He heard it while he was watching The Postman. Yeah. Okay. And. Mm -hmm. And he, had he has, complicated a, feelings about his time at Konami that maybe he needed to get out along the way. He's a film buff, I understand. I don't know where to start with this game. And he'll keep coming, additionally, on top of that. Uh, I, I want to... I, the only other thing I feel like we should say before we get in here is that you reminded me this morning, was it back at Gamescom? Yeah. He gave that interview where he flat out said, I think people are going to hate the first half of this game. Accurate. <laughs> Absolutely accurate. Hearing that... Introduced a level of I don't know intentionality in what he has done here that made me weirdly feel better about this game. Huh? Yeah. For for me, it's that feeling. I, 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 that's a tricky thing, right? Like I don't think games need to be like they grab you in the first sixty seconds. I think yeah. that, like like games should be able to be challenging material mm -hmm. uh, as a medium, right? Yes. But so uh, thematically, mechanically, whatever. Absolutely. But also like I'm a living human being with finite amounts of mm -hmm. time to live. Yeah. And uh, if the idea that I would like kind of go through the 30ish hours that I would that would be like the first half of this game. Um, Just about where I'm at right now. Yeah, you, you're you're about to flip over into the rest of the chapters of the game. To be fair, I'm doing a ton of side stuff. Like yeah, I've been yeah. trying to get my head around this thing. Um, and understand how it ticks. It's just a really big ask. Like it this, is, this game, is. this game is a really big ask. Yes. It can be incredibly off-putting in the first two, three, four I hours. I put it down multiple times uh, over the course of the early parts, and just went like, nah. And came back to it a couple times yeah. even after that, and just went like, all right, well, you know, I, I got a little bit of time here before Outer Worlds shows up, so let's let's give it another go. I, I definitely said nah. Three, four, or five times. Yeah, but I kept coming back to it. And You'll here, keep coming. Here I, am. literally. That's um, um, here we are. And again, I, you know, I can't say whether I truly like this game yet, but I feel like I at least finally understand it. Yeah, I, I feel like the the TGS video, looking at that footage, made me understand what the game would be. Mm -hmm. That it's like infrastructure week, the game. Um, <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, they didn't really show a lot of story here, and yeah. the early parts of the story. I think are so terrible. I think are so incredibly just Ooh. like the most freshman philosophy ass like stoner conversation about technology and what it's doing to us, man. It's like we've never been more connected, bro, but like at the same time, we've never been more distant. You know what I mean? And what Whoa. if the internet was powered by the world of the dead? Um, and so what like... If, what if we were prisoners of our own technology? What if, man? What, it, it looks like a phone, but really it's handcuffs. And then instead said, what if he's just wearing handcuffs? Just make the subtext text. Go. The game. Colon the game. I mean, if you want to talk about a textual statement of intent, I can recite some lines of dialogue to you. Oh, boy. Only, <laughs> only you can reconnect us, Sam. <laughs> I mean, that's the best where we're at. Uh... I, 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 this I don't, don't want to sound a game about America. I don't want to sound like I hate this game. Like I can't stop playing this game. It's ridiculous. I can't stop playing. This game. I'm not going to say I hate this game. I don't think it's a good game. I, I don't uh, know. I'm I am now ambivalent or torn on that question. Uh, but I, you know. But it's a fascinating yes, one. It is. I can't. I appreciate and respect that it was made. I guess. The audacity. Yes, yes, there, is, there is an unbelievable amount of audacity in this product. Of this product. Yeah. Um, it, it feels like it feels like the singular manifestation of one man's vision. <laughs> it, 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 but then not, on top, not to not to take away from all the other yeah, people. Yeah, of course. That, that yeah, a lot, a lot of people contributed to this thing. Like, to bring he this does to not take the blame alone. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of people that said, "Okay, yeah, we'll work on your encumbrance focused video game." Like it's like that. That's really what it is. It's like it's like if if think about how many people despise encumbrance mechanics in RPGs. Oh yeah. The worst. Now thinking about worst. a game. Now thinking about a game that is essentially built around that concept. 
and then as you get better at the game, you A, mitigate the the encumbrance problem by being better at the gameplay, mm -hmm. but also all of the upgrades are focused on making, making this unpleasant task somewhat more pleasing. Yeah. I, I would go as far as to say I feel like I've gotten fairly good at it. To what end, Brad Shoemaker? I don't know, man. All right, where are we in the game here? What do you um, What do you got? We're probably I haven't finished. I'm right near the end of episode three, which is the where we have to stop. Yeah, covering this, um, we're not going to get to the end. I will make a point of not triggering any major story stuff. Uh, we're kind of in the second major location. Uh, I've been doing deliveries for deliveries. a lot of people. Okay, yeah, you're the cargo guy. Um, I've unlocked You're the cargo guy with the baby strapped to the front of you. Like, you start this game with pretty much your sort of hands and feet at your disposal, and that's about it, right? Uh -huh. And you're stacking cargo up on your back, and you have to walk places, and you have to lean back and forth to make sure you don't tip your cargo over. So I, w I just mitigated that by just holding down both triggers the entire time, yeah. which, like, steadies yeah. you and hunkers you down, mm -hmm. and you don't sway at that point. Yeah. And you move more slowly, but I was just like, "Fuck it." And there are—I don't, I don't want to—I I hate dealing with the balance stuff. There are stamina so considerations easier, around right, yeah. doing stuff like that. I mean, balance is a concern. Like trippable objects on the terrain are a concern that you need to scan for. Mm -hmm. There's like there's a health and a stamina meter, but then there is a um, what do they call it? Like an adrenaline meter that overlays, I believe, your health meter. So that's like if you get spooked or fall or something, you no, get a sorry. spike of adrenaline? I'm sorry. Adrenaline, I think, is the one that overlays the stamina meter, and then there's sort of a consciousness gauge that overlays the health. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> also, your baby in a jar has his own uh, distress meter to right. be aware of. Also, your shoes break down. Yeah, you can find sandal plants to replace your boots with. On the other hand, break. on the other hand, some kind player, uh -huh. some industrious player who has unlocked level three boots. Yeah. When I have not, left a pair of level three boots in a shared container. Nice. And I've been rolling around with level three boots ever since. Nice. So those boots will break someday, maybe, but until then, maybe this game was worth it. If you do pull-ups long, long enough, you can carry infinite weight. Does yeah. that no? No, doesn't I, do that. Okay. I guess what, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to get into in this in the time we have. Honestly, as right. we as we play, as we dabble with this game, but like seeing the stuff other players have done in this game is absolutely the high point of this game. Yeah. Um, as 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 often as this game will put you in incredibly dire circumstances. Mm -hmm. And make you kind of hate what you're doing. Yeah. Seeing that strategically placed building that somebody who came before you thought of to build there. Yeah. And having that building save your ass at the last second. You want to mash that like button. You're gonna. You're, I have. You're gonna. And everyone at home, I have that like button as well. I, <laughs> I have liked a, a certain generator <laughs> and a certain bridge. Let's say hundreds of times. You can mash out because when you start liking something, uh, a meter starts draining, and at the end of that, you can't like it anymore. I've mashed out over a hundred likes. Oh, in, I've, in I'm up to over drains. three. So one of the things you can upgrade is the window of time you have to like an object. I think I managed to like Captain Dong's uh, electric trike. Yeah. Something like 340 times. I thought Captain Dong's electric trike was all right. I thought the sequel was better. Mm, uh, it was yeah. just sexier. Yeah. Oh, you mean the long-range trike? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The chiral network. <laughs> so, so, okay. Should we play this game? Order number 26. I, I'm sorry. This is so meandering. I, just, I don't know what to do with our 20 minutes. There's a lot in this game. Why don't you perform order number 26? Okay. Fresh pizza delivery. <laughs> okay, we've got order number 26 here. Uh, let's go to the game. Um... Yeah, so this is a side order. Uh, you can get to your cargo from here. I don't currently have any cargo on me. We should probably get some. Um, I have an order to deliver uh, a pizza to good old Peter Englert here. Okay. We're going to do that. This is kind of a highly technical delivery to start with because this pizza must remain horizontal at all times. Of course, it's pizza. If I, of so course, you, of course it does. I it's can, a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> if I pick this up by hand, it's immediately going to start taking damage. Cargo mark, keep flat. Put that pizza down. What are you doing? Well, now it's I, there's no way. Okay, my pizza is now taking damage. Um, we're going to have to get some stuff. Oops, out of the private lock. Let's hope I've got some stuff here. Um, you so need I, to repair that pizza. Uh, I think that ship has sailed. 
Oh. You don't actually, you can't repair cargo. You can only repair the container that the cargo was in. Oh, okay. So it actually, I didn't realize there were two types of damage. I just yes. figured that it was like marked as container damage that you could repair. Oh, this is so stressful. The clock is ticking. Okay, so I'm going to load some cargo onto my back that will allow me to stack that pizza flat in a horizontal position. So you can see what I've got on my back here. Yeah. I've got uh, a couple of things that I believe... That might be enough, actually. So the pizza is here uh -huh. because it's nearby. It also shows up in the cargo menu. Yep. So I can see what will happen if I carry it on my back. That will not work. It's not flat. It's not flat. Okay. I'm going to drop it back on the ground. Um, let's say... Oh, what looks like it might create a flat... XL Ceramics would be, would be yeah, a pretty tall... I think you're right. I'm trying to remember how I did this before... Let's see. That uh, that may be too big. That's a lot of weight. I, what skeleton do I have right now? You can hold 315. You're... Oh, I, okay. I've got the power skeleton on. Right. Okay. I'm fine there. Um, I'm just trying to... There we go. Okay. Do I have maybe one more tiny thing that'll fit in that space? I did this way faster at home. Um, that might fit. Okay. That looks like it's maybe going to do it. Done! That pizza is flat. That pizza is horizontal. Thank God. All right, let's deliver this pizza. Also, this is a timed mission, I should say. This, it's uh, a pizza, of course. This cargo delivery is marked urgent. Um, I've got the uh, truck that I stole from a mule camp over here. Okay. Uh, which, curiously, I can't seem to like. I don't know why, but... Uh, also, this, uh, this trike here that... Anybody home? Nope, hang on. Hang on, I'm just going to throw some likes on this thing. Yeah. See, I can really... Really... Just Love it. I didn't have to make the strike. He made it for me. Why wouldn't I like that? All right. Let's go deliver this pizza. Yeah. Let's um, deliver this pizza. This is really the loop of the game. Yeah, in, like, in you've my, got in, gear in that, that I don't, that in, in, you know, at my point in the game, I don't have. I, yeah. I don't, don't have, like, a second skeleton. Uh, I don't have a, a, a vehicle. Whoa. Oh, can't go out there. Um, this is the first time I've ever tried not leaving uh, through the main gate, and you totally can't. So let's move through the main gate. I like things about the visual style of the... Um, I, I, Almost the neon sign like yes, quality I, of I, some I, of the signs of, you put in the, the world. The visual design is like pretty strong in this game. Uh, and the thing I like the most about Death Stranding is I think the codec noise is good. Yeah, there's a lot. There are actually multiple codec yeah. noises depending on who's calling. I like the yep, like yep. that's the good one. Yep, that's a good one. Is that yeah. when Denise, uh, what, uh, Guillermo del Toro calls you? I think that's him, and maybe also Die Hard Man. Ah, Die Hard Man. Uh, Die Hard Man, I find, is a... A Christmas character. Yes. Um, you can scan the landscape at any time. Yeah, which, if which, you're on foot, is more meaningful, because it'll show you, like, okay, you might trip over this, you might... Well, like it, it's... Now, that is also very relevant to, for example, water. Oh, yeah, water, because you know, then you'll, you'll be able to sense the depth. So, yellow, not a huge problem on this bike. It'll uh, drain the battery faster, but I can still get through it. If okay. There were, if there happened to be red depth to the water, though... You would lose that bike. My bike would disappear, and I would lose all my cargo. Would go floating down the river. Well, but you don't want that. None of that matters uh, because uh, the God Lore here has built a bridge. Yeah. And upgraded it to play music. Of course, and and you can further upgrade that yeah, bridge so if I you can, so choose. I can contribute uh, materials to that bridge if I like. And it seems like so. You know the. the there's a gameplay thing you do in each area to bring other players' structures online. They've yes. showed that. And uh, when you connect a region to the chiral network, uh -huh. uh, it will bring that stuff in. And it seems like how it works is it brings in a subset of things. Um, not necessarily, you know, it's not going to bring in everything every player in the game has built. Also, they've got an in-world justification for, hey, all this stuff deteriorates because of the way rain works in, yes. in this world. So nothing lasts forever. So, mm -hmm. you know, if, if you come back and that bridge is not there anymore, they've got a way for that to make sense. Um, or if the bridge is in a different place, or if, you know, the, like the, the way all that stuff works. I have, um, I have totally missed where... They've got a, a decent in-world description for that Sorry, stuff. I totally got off track. I marked the wrong structure. Playing this game while watching a ticking clock is uh, kind of a lot to keep track of. 
Uh, but traversal is the game, so like this is not in that, you know this is not meaningless. All right. All right. Let's show a little bit of this more of this uh, this water traversal here, and then uh, all right, and then we'll we'll cut away while you do some more driving because yeah, so it's going to look a lot like this. Yeah. Okay, you did it. Uh, here's a different looking area. Yeah. Jan, why don't you come back to us and we'll stop burning our time on this uh, yeah. driving around thing. Um, you can feel free to narrate what I'm doing. Yeah, so he's driving. <laughs> so, uh, he's driving. His, uh, his, he's got his motorcycle trike thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you can push the touchpad in at any time to try to talk. And Sam yes. will go like, hey, is anybody there? Anybody around? And one time I did that and someone answered back. Yeah. And I kept hitting the button. And he said, my name's Sam. And then the other guy said, my name's Sam too. And I was like, does that mean there's another player playing the game right now that is near this area? Because it doesn't seem like it's live multiplayer, per don't, se. Don't think about it too hard. Uh, but I, uh, I've arrived at my destination. Okay. Would you like me to deliver this pizza? Let's, uh, let's watch Brad deliver this okay. pizza. Because this is the other end of the loop yeah. in this game. And you've seen this structure yeah, they've in shown some quite of the a TGS bit about this. Uh, footage. A lot of them look like this. Yes. This is essentially the mission structure in this game. Uh, is get items from A to B. Yep. Uh, think in some cases pretty hard about how they're arranged on your back and then other points of articulation on your suit. Or how they're attached to a vehicle. Uh-huh. Or what the battery level of your vehicle is, let's say. There are a lot of considerations. Or, you know, what the lay of the terrain might be. Yeah, you got some likes there. Yeah, anytime you're going from point A to B, there's a lot of stuff to think about. Uh, everything is graded. Even uh, having taken that, that wrong turn. Got an S rank. Okay. Uh, this stuff, I apologize, I should have turned off trophy notifications. The trophies are not live yet, so they're all going to repop, I suppose. Even though you, yeah, even though you've uh, unlocked yeah. them. Jan, you want to give us a second to turn that off? I totally didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. Guys, as far as the PS4 knows, I haven't gotten any of them yet. Yeah. Um, and, uh,. Yeah, you know, so it's 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 a lot of you, you going places and having a hologram tell you to do a thing mm -hmm. that involves you taking a thing to another hologram. That's right. And that's Death Strand. That's the loop. Yeah. You know, there's stuff to collect out here in the world. Um, uh, now you talk about like mule camps yeah, and stuff there, like there that. Are sort there of are enemy encampments that you'll run into. Yeah, it, it seems like uh, you know. Oh, oh, here's another little interesting factoid about the world. Uh, when people die, they blow up. It's bad. <laughs> There's that. Uh, so should you actually murder anyone? There are, there are considerations about what you then need to do. You know, if you've played, uh, let's say, a Metal Gear game. I have. Or, you know, a lot of JRPGs. Or if you're in anime, there is, there is a sort of familiar, like, surreal, dreamlike quality to a lot of the stuff going on in this game. Yeah. In terms of things that float and... You know, a lot of the a lot of the events taking place in front of you uh, can be a little baffling, right? At first, until you kind of understand the and they've got they don't the they don't logic that everything is operating on. Yeah, they don't necessarily go out of their way to explain the world to you, um, but there is a set of interviews that you'll unlock uh, that if you dig into that stuff, like if you want to know the nature of this world, like why has dude got a baby strapped to him? <laughs> How's the baby work? Uh -huh. They tell you how the baby works. Let me tell you, as someone who recently had a baby, I didn't need to know how the fucking babies worked um, um, because I did was I did was not I did not appreciate the answer. Oh um, sure, yes. I mean, uh, I about know, how all that works. I know exactly what you're talking they about. It's just gross. It's just gross. Um, Here's Brad. He's, uh, Brad is shaking a baby and uh, baby soothing. noises. Or, sorry, uh, soothing. Don't, do not. I'm rocking the baby. Um, and uh, I like that when you do this, your little um, your little satellite sensor thing comes down and turns into a little mobile and a little lullaby plays. Oh, I think I that's never, funny. I didn't notice that. Um, I did. I definitely took notice the first time that uh, BB gave me some likes, though. Yep. You get a like, you get a like from BB. It was a proud moment. Yeah, that's the that's the only like that matters, as far I, as I'm concerned. There are a lot of things that are just joyously ridiculous about this game. It's it's really. 
I, in fact, I could show you one here in just a second. Okay. That I showed you right before this, and you seem to think was very amusing. Um, so they, did they show the road building stuff previously, like a TGS? I, I don't think, they, think no. I, I didn't. I didn't necessarily. I think I, I maybe knew that you would build roads, but I don't think I'd seen any of. So it. here is here is a generator that somebody built. Okay. Uh, right here near the the big city that I just came out of. Yeah. Uh, Let's which take a look at this generator real quick here. Pretty useful when you're driving battery operated vehicles that don't have a lot of range on them. Yeah. So when you build a structure, uh, any structure, you can decide to put like a little hologram dude next to it yep. and decide what animation they do. Uh -huh. You can have it play music. Uh, all kinds of dumb shit. Yep. Um, but but I mean, more to the point, like just a strategically placed something like a generator or a shelter or something that alleviates some of the. Uh, yeah. Suffering in this game, or you know, yeah, just give that of, person some likes and then let's cut away here. I probably, uh, probably like that generator. Um, yeah, like the shit out of that generator. All right. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm liking the sign. Oh, well, the sign's good too. Um, but roads, I th okay. Well, all right, yeah, sorry. Let's let's come back and, and show the road here. This is roads, roads are another thing you can build communally. Also, I don't know if the game ever tells you this, but if you hit the sprint, you know, click the left, the L3 on vehicles. You got a fast mode, okay, which is useful. Obviously, going to burn a lot more battery. Also, I'm getting scanned by mules right now. But the thing I was going to tell you is this tiny lane in the middle of the road yeah. is free power. If okay, you stick to that lane. It doesn't burn your battery. So you don't necessarily regain juice, but no, you don't burn it. You're not using. But you it. have to stick to this narrow but path in the middle of the road. No I guess. Hey, that turns it into a gameplay thing, right? Entering grid. If you're good at the driving, then you get no longer a grid. Benefit. Entering grid. Oh boy. Off grid. Um, I, I love it. It's just. It's. What other game would do that? F Zero. Um, <laughs> uh, a lot else? of boxes out in the world uh -huh. that are be other. Yeah. Other people's cargo. Other, Every time. OPP, they call it. Other. The last P hmm, stands for property. That's right. <laughs> uh, and you can deliver it. Uh, there are also like player-built uh, lockers and post boxes yes. and stuff for the, that can be around the world, yeah. and you can build one of those and just leave it in a locker for some other player. It'll, it'll basically put that cargo online, mm -hmm. and some other porter, or some other Sam may come along and grab it and yeah. take it on to its destination. So like you'll get a few likes for. So if you have cargo that's bound for a destination and you want to take it there, you'll get a few likes for storing it somewhere else. Yeah, and then somebody else can come along and get it, and they'll get a ton of likes for completing the job for you. Yeah. And I've done quite a bit of that. Here is a, a bridge built by Captain Dongs. Just Congratulations to Captain Dongs um, for building a br for bridges. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you could kind of play side content almost ad nauseum in this game. Yeah, that stuff seems very generated. There like, is, there are always boxes on the ground yeah, somewhere for every, you to pick up and, and fuck with. Everywhere you go, there's there's just loose cargo strewn about that you can uh, take to its intended destination, yeah. and you get a bunch of likes for it, and you can upgrade various aspects of your character. And um, I find a lot of that kind of shared world, but not live multiplayer stuff to be really fascinating. Yeah, there's yes. stuff like, you'll see other players' footsteps. Yes. And if you follow them, they will get likes. Yeah, I've and had... Also, I've, it seems like that eventually wears a path. That was... Vinny was saying that's his... I don't know where he got that. I don't know well, I feel like I'm seeing paths in, in, in the world yeah, and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's like, hard to it, say what's auto-generated. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, I guess... Like, I, the I idea know, of yeah. multiple people wearing a path into the ground because they all use the same... Gener like, that's crazy. That's kind of awesome. A player is resting at right here, right now. Really? That's what these holographic cairns mean. Another player is resting, and if I rest right next to them, the cairn will get bigger. Okay. <laughs> uh, can you can, can we show um, about this? Can game. we show the flavor text for your canteen, please? Uh, sure. This is a world in which. Your canteen, instead of dispensing water, it takes in rainwater uh -huh. and converts it into monster energy. You've got a canteen with infinite energy drink monster in it. Monster energy all drink just, consumed. Just a monster energy drink consumed. Stamina restored. And then when it rains, it'll fill back, or if you go in the water, it'll fill back up. And then through some magic process of the canteen, you can cut away from this, uh, it will convert... The water, which, by the way, rain in this game is a nightmare, but somehow this canteen will still turn the time fall uh -huh. into monster energy drink. Yep. That is accurate. Also, you couldn't be more when right. you're in the private rooms, 
It is some of the most high-res monster energy can <laughs> artwork I have ever seen. Those cans are glistening and sharp and good, gorgeous. Good, good looking textures. Uh, you collect bugs and eat them to restore your blood? Yeah, because your blood is the weapon. Because you're throwing grenades filled with your blood and shooting blood bullets. Out of gun. Mm. At the evil spirits that are haunting America. So have you done... Uh, uh, hmm. Yes. What would you like to know? Oh, I'm uh, under assault by mules. All right, right let's go back to this and see some <clears throat> combat? Yeah, let's fight. Uh, this is a mule camp. Mules are cargo cultists in the most literal sense. In that they worship cargo. They are porters like you, uh, but instead of taking stuff to their destination, they've decided that they want it for themselves. Yeah, but they're said to not care about what the cargo is, merely the symbolism of transporting it. I've uh, just shoulder-checked that guy, which I didn't know about until I read about it in the list of combat tips. Out, But it's very useful, because a lot of these guys can't be punched from the front. Oh, boy. He knocked that cargo off you? Yep. Pick that cargo up and hit that dude in the fucking oh. face with it. Yeah. Like that? Yes. You think? Your cargo will take damage. That will damage the cargo. No. But wasn't it worth it? You've oh. got plenty of container repair spray. It will be fine. Oh, this is bad. I should play more intelligently than this. I don't think I brought my bullet gun, unfortunately. Uh, I'm, I'm told to... that the bullet gun kind of trivializes a lot of oh, this Oh, I totally stuff. have it. Yeah, I did. I did um, see you load it up. It uh, kind of they they can work their way out of the eventually the but, bonds pretty yeah. quickly, like oh, in okay. thirty seconds or a minute. That's still that's enough time to if you got two guys, you can turn them into one. Damn man, hold still. Wow. Oh, uh, you are holding still. That's the first time this has ever happened for me. Uh, I've got it on hard for what it's worth. Okay. Why? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious to see what happens here. Carried outside of hostile territory. All cargo, All cargo has, been, has stolen. been stolen. Stolen weapons, equipment, etc. have been disposed of at the dump site. Does that mean I can't get them back? I'm kind of curious to find out. Still got the... Ha! Okay. A post box in hostile territory will have your, your personal cargo. effects. Yeah, I can get my stuff back. I still got the gun on me, though. All right. Well... Um... Should I go try to find it? Sure. All right. I shouldn't have abandoned my bike back there, but uh, uh, what else you got? Um, Any questions? <laughs> Concerns? It's. Um, I can't stop playing. This I was going to talk about the graphics, but we'll we'll talk. We'll save that for the technical. Right, we've got a, we've got a separate ten minute allotment for technical analysis that we intend to use. Um, uh, I've got, a, I've got, so mules will uh, scan you when you get inside their territory. Right. And it's cool, it creates a little floating holographic kind of last known position of your cargo, not of you. Right, Like yeah. you see your boxes hanging in midair <laughs> because they just want you. In fact, the, the game flat out says if you don't have any cargo on you, mules don't care about your presence. They just let you go. Right. Which is kind of interesting. Um, it's weird nonsense. But, uh, yes. but I, I have now got the ability to uh, counter ping their scan when I enter their territory okay. and negate it so they will not be able to track me. Oh, okay. So That's an interesting development, I suppose. Yeah. Um, all right, so here we have a post box that's disguised as a rock. Uh -huh. um, they like to do that. It's pretty effective from a distance. Let's take a look at this hologram here. Yeah, it's kind of neat. From a, all right. from a great distance, it's pretty useful uh, as you get closer. Yeah. Less so, you know, you're always getting pop-ups about what other players are doing um, with structures that you've built or interacted with and so forth, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if any of this is my stuff. Doesn't look like it? Doesn't look like it. Well, the stuff you had on you was Some, not necessarily like... No, I didn't. I, I had barely loaded up. Yeah, you, you were loaded up with these just uh, stuff you needed to carry that pizza properly. Yeah, but so. you'll find you'll find other players' cargo in, in these hostile mailboxes uh -huh. and stuff, and I've delivered some of that before. That's kind of fun. Uh... I was thinking about. Um, let's All right, see. Let's, uh, we've got. Let's just come back here. I keep, I, I, and easy, uh, easy to forget that we have a time limit. Yeah. Um, 
So there's the mules. Mm -hmm. There's that aspect of the game. Then there's the BTs, which yes. are ghost dudes. This is the stuff where people are like, you know, you see people in all the trailers covering their mouths. Yeah, they've, they've talked a lot. They showed all this stuff at TGS. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like, if you get caught by a BT, then it turns into like a fight where you have to use blood weapons. Is that you don't have to? You can just stealth your way past them. Okay, so uh, so I've I've yet to have that encounter happen. I assume okay. it's going to force one on me at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've I've just been very careful and stealthy getting through the BT areas. Yes, that's I tend to I'll do the same thing. Yeah, they're because not, it seems like that would be a big hassle. They're they're really not that hard to sneak around. Okay. Um, the blood weapons, you can essentially just sort of delete a BT or two here and there. Mm. Like, kill them even though they're dead. I'm trying to steal this mule's truck. Just uh, punch and near it and probably get it done. Oh, I think I have to be on the driver's side. Yeah, I would assume so. Oh, he's getting away from me. These trucks he's are a, incredibly useful. He's a bad driver. All right, I've managed to steal this mule's truck. All now right. I have a truck. This truck is in bad shape. Great. I can't use this truck. Durability is a thing on everything from your shoes and your power skeleton, exoskeleton. All right, let's see some more of this combat okay, here. I you just you shot that guy. guy with a bow. Uh... I was trying to steal their truck, but the truck is in very bad shape. I like, instead of a reticle, I have not mastered the dodge move. I'm not very good at it, but I wanted to show. I like, instead of a reticle, you get this kind of laser it's thing. Some dead space. Yeah. Uh, and you can bowl the guys. Now, can you just, like, kick them in the head while they're down or something? Just or? about to say, word to the wise, don't let them just go. Oh, come on, prompt. There's, like, a lot of momentum to the way he walks, and, yeah. prompt, you know, button prompts will come and go, depending on your very exact positioning. So be aware. Yeah, you need to make sure you go around and, uh... Stomp everybody out. Yeah, more or less. Oop. Combat, not a huge focus of this game. Doesn't seem like you it. You really could just kind of avoid the mule camps. Um, well, it seems like, you know, there's... there's occasionally you could stealth your way in in a lot of yeah, cases. Yes, and, I have. I have get just, up behind guys and sneak attack them and stuff. I certainly and, have just stealthed yeah. into a camp and gotten what I needed and gotten yeah. out. All right, let's let's uh, uh, get in this truck real quick. This truck... It, okay, now the truck is usable. It was electrified before. Okay. And I couldn't use it. Uh, that's them scanning me. They're just going to keep coming. Ah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, now you got a truck. I do not have access to trucks of my own. I assume you'll probably get that at some point, but you can steal these for the moment. Uh, they're hydraulics. See, they kind of oh, lifts, nice. lifts the body up out yeah. of the water, which I'm very into. Yeah. Uh, they burn a lot of battery in the water, though. I spent, I loaded up a truck full of very valuable cargo the other night. I spent 30 minutes driving it over an incredibly rocky mountain. Yeah. I was about to run out of power, and then there was a generator on the horizon that some industrious player had built. And it was probably the best moment I've had in this game. And that's the stuff that I think makes it really interesting. Yeah, I like, think that... Like the, that, that just, that, that exact perfect uh, player-built structure at exactly the right moment is, like, border, yeah, borderline like magical. The, the shared world stuff seems like the things that... I just ruined somebody's cargo. That I find really interesting. I just ruined Red Lee Fox's cargo. Well, they shouldn't have left it in the middle of the highway. Yeah. Quite frankly. Um, yeah. Uh, All right, let's uh, not show left. Yeah, let's, we're just uh, yeah, let's cut away here. here. Um, I'm trying to think what else to show in this. Definitely a review of this game <laughs> or a weekly recap show. This is our weekly recap of yeah. uh, the Death Stranding coverage that uh, Alex Navarro will be uh, performing. <laughs> The ongoing adventures in a review context. Yes. Um, uh, my understanding is by chapter, I'm still pretty early in this game, but I've just been doing so much side stuff, going back and forth, doing deliveries, upgrading all kinds of aspects of myself and my gear. Mm -hmm. That it's just it's filled. Yeah, it's, filled it's like when when they said like, "Hey, only show up to chapter three, That doesn't sound like a lot, but it turns out that that's maybe like not quite half the game can, or so. You can but, spend a ton of time yeah. in these early chapters just doing stuff. Um, that maybe the later chapters move along a little bit. Your, your babies. So we bought a baby monitor uh -huh. at home and 
It sounds exactly like that. The the speaker <laughs> quality of the baby monitor is exactly like the PS4, and that okay. sucks. Hmm. That yeah. sucks. I see that being a little misleading. You can make it come out of the TV speaker. Yeah, that is an option. Uh, yeah, everything about the the BB and their nature and where they come from and stuff I found to be profoundly distasteful. Mm, okay, um, it's a metaphor. Sure. Let's say. Probably, I guess. Probably. I sure. Know. Should we listen to the briefing? Yeah, let's listen to a briefing here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's. This junk dealer is probably going to give you a hard Ah, time. junk dealer. He's got a rep for demanding the impossible and lodging complaints when folks don't. Come. Dealing with a lot of preppers out here in the Midwest of the former United States. Okay. For whatever reason. Uh, According to Fragile's records, he's nothing but. They're ornery. You any better than Cantankerous. So they're preppers. Uh, do they don't trust start. the state that you're building. They don't want to be on this grid no, you're literally they building. They absolutely do not want to be a part of your grid. <laughs> Great. Or your cargo. Um, oh, and if you're wondering why we don't just tell this guy to go to hell. Some of them are friendlier than others. Fact is, we need a shelter if we're going to push ahead with expanding the network. Everything comes back so to the Cairo network. Get on yeah. good side. Um, Easier said than done, considering how little interest he's shown in joining the UCA. Yeah. Voice performances and cutscene stuff yeah, seems done. very good. Uh, done well, generally, except for the part where every single word coming out of every character's mouth in the first several hours of the game is some of the most nonsense ass nonsense <laughs> I've heard. Period. <laughs> um, it, a lot of it gets back to what I was saying about just like the, I feel like a lot of it has the quality of stoner conversation about like it's just this very surface level discussion of like what it means to be connected and what real human connection is. Like there's an early mission where you're literally delivering oxytocin to people because they don't have enough human contact right. to generate their own. Yes. And it's just hitting you over the head with that stuff over and over again to the point where like, that was one of the first times I stopped playing. It was like, all right, I fucking get it. Uh, and it just was done. Um, but I checked out a little more and checked out a little more and checked out a little more. And yeah. like, I'm not opposed to playing more of this game per se. Um, but I don't think I'm willing to endure uh, the amount of content that it seems like you will have to get through before it quote unquote gets interesting. There are a lot of deliveries to make. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that that's a video game I want to play. Um, I respect that it exists. Uh -huh. um, yep. and, and I think that it is fascinating in a lot of ways. Uh, going all the way back to just like... What was the, what did the initial pitch for this game look like? <laughs> I'd love to know. When Kojima was going around talking about this game to potential publisher, partners, people that might fund the game, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. Like, what did Sony get from him? What does that PowerPoint look like? What is that? What's the elevator pitch? Yeah, or, or, is, or did he have such a cachet at that point in time that it just didn't matter? It was literally just like, well, yeah, we're not gonna give you Metal Gear money to make this game, but we will give you enough money to make this game. It's interesting. This game is interesting because there, like I said, I've spent well over two dozen hours with it already. Yeah. There's a fair amount of like landmass to cover in some senses. It's very mechanically dense. In some senses, there's a lot of game here. In other senses, it's like highly repetitive. Exactly. You know, like yeah. you were doing kind of the same yeah. thing with minor variations. Just bring box from point A to point over B. Over and over. Like um, the vast majority of the way stations you go inside look identical. Just you know the yeah. hologram. It's that not like you're walking around different. populated towns or yeah. anything like that yeah. at, 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 at this point in the game. You know? At the same time, like you know the, the big cinematic moments, the cutscenes, like they did not skimp on production value at all. Like it feels that, that seems like that's where they spent the money. Um, um, you know, there's also there are a number of like bankable stars of stage and screen in this game. You know? Yeah, and then some product placement as well. <laughs> sure. For Norman Reedus's TV show, which you wonder if that's, that's right. just like a funny thing they did, or if literally that was just like, hey, how about we um, AMC is actually get in. AMC to pay part of your fee? They did not license. They did not uh, brand the pizza. That's a shame. I want a real missed out. opportunity. There's money out. on the table right there. So they were not that desperate. Yeah. Um, um, I think go all in on that. I mean, you know, they put calorie made into Metal Gear. They, you know, they've, they've you know. 
this team has had a history. Well, the, 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 some of the people on this team have had a history with uh, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I think the way they've integrated it here is ridiculous. <laughs> I think the the canteen thing that we talked showed earlier is um, maybe one of my favorite things about this whole game, and it's absolute nonsense. Yeah, it's like yeah. Okay, how much did Monster pay to get a canteen that turns water into Monster? Where you're literally like, that you don't drink water in this game, you just get more Monster. In fact, you've got a device that turns water into Monster. Like, fucking what? Maybe he really likes Monster. Um, Monster's all right. Yeah. It's no rock star, but uh, it has, you know. I still think of it as the classic energy drink. It's the first one that I remember on, really? the, on the scene. Oh, no, not uh, you. Were, you were not a Red Bull fan. Well, okay, Red Bull. Sure. Yeah, Red Bull yeah. was kind of the among these sort of edgy uh, extreme. Post, the second wave, yes, the, the post Red Bull, the post Virgin Energy. Let's say the extreme sports adjacent energy drinks. Okay, yeah, Mon Monster absolutely. is the original. Yeah, that's how I think of it. And there are, I, I want to say, there are video games that are branded with Monster, like Supercross, like Monster Energy Supercross. Oh yeah, like, recently. Like, that's, like, yeah, that's Come still it. that's still coming. That will keep coming, yeah, as well. Uh, what do you want to show next? Four Is there and a half minutes here. Yeah, I'm trying to get to one more mission that we can show off some of the stealth BT stuff, which probably yeah, that seems like the other address. facet of the game that uh, we haven't necessarily shown. But between me and the mission I want to pick up are these giant crevices, and I'm kind of wondering if this bike can jump them, because <laughs> mm. otherwise driving around them is going to take some time. Yeah, well, should we find out? I guess so. Uh, Jan, if you please. Also, the mules are hot on my trail. Let's see what happens. Ah! That counts, it counts. Yep, it count counts. It. Count it. I don't think that bike is gonna move from there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, all right, thank you, Jan. All right, thank you, Jan. Um, what else is new? I. Uh, you know, uh, it's oh got a God. jump button. Wow, that's the first time I've done that. That's kind of amazing. Yeah. That's actually going to change a lot. <laughs> Did I just see the phrase double jump? Uh, yeah, I think so. On the screen? Uh oh. Is that eating into our footage allotment? What do you um, think? I don't know, it might be. Do we need to run the timer while the baby cries? I don't, Is that... <laughs> I don't know. I'll put your thumb over the speaker. I, what if I just soothe the baby? Okay. Just give me a second. Um, I was interested in the little scenes. Every time you jack into the baby, you get one of the baby's memories mm -hmm. uh, coming to you, and that's the Mads Mikkelsen character shows up and is talking to the the BB. The bridge baby. The bridge baby. Of course. Sorry. Oh. Um, <laughs> and... Um, I thought those were interesting, and, and maybe they do lead somewhere, but also they repeat. Because you can you can yes. go in and out of a facility as many times as you yes. want, and every time you jack into yes. to the baby, you get one. And so you will occasionally get one that you've already seen, mm -hmm. and that really, that broke a lot of things for me. You can skip all that stuff, though. Yeah, I know, <clears throat> but like, I thought that that was going to be meaningful stuff. Oh, and oh, you mean the as, fact that they repeat? And as soon as they started repeating, I was yeah. like, oh, this is less meaningful, clearly less meaningful than I was giving it credit for. Yeah. Like, it might still, that character may still matter at some point in time, but... Yeah, I assume um, that that stuff will pay off in some story-related fashion. Yeah, you, you would think, but... Um, and that's, you know, like, at this point... You'd I'm, like to think at, that a lot of things in this game would pay off. Yeah, at this point, I am not not enjoying my time with it is where I would say I'm at. Mm -hmm. but, but seeing where the story stuff goes and how it plays out is part of the reason that I'm quite sure I will finish this game. <laughs> yeah, and I, just, and I, I think that that's, that's like, that's the, I, need to I think know. that is the story of Death Stranding is that there will be a lot of people who need to know. Yeah. And I think that there will be a lot of people who will have a lot of the same questions that, that you have while they're playing it in terms of just like, I don't, am I, am I enjoying this? Like, yeah. I don't know if I'm enjoying this, but... Um, but in a lot of cases, they will continue to play it just to see it for themselves. I mean, and I, I think that's that. That's not nothing. No, you know, like like making a game that you know gets people talking and, and people want to see uh, because it is it is fairly different. I mean, it, it's what well, it is and it isn't right. You know, like like the systems and concepts and a lot of that stuff 
aren't necessarily brand new. No. But... It is, it is vastly more than the sum of its parts, I would say. Yeah. Because, yes. you know... It's assembled in such a way that, like, it's fascinating. Uh, Not necessarily good, but you're like, I, it's fascinating that... A, a team would make this. Stealth mechanics and encumbrance and long haul cargo deliveries and any number of things in this game in isolation are nothing you haven't seen before, right? Exactly. But when you put them all together in the incredibly and, and put esoteric emphasis, way yeah, that they yeah, have, and, they and, have and been. And putting emphasis on things like encumbrance in, in a way that hasn't right, necessarily. Right, like taking a mechanic that a lot of people revile in a lot of games that feature it uh -huh. and building an entire game around it. Yeah. And making that, like, the core obstacle to overcome mechanically. Again, like, audacious yeah. is the only word that comes to mind. Yeah, exactly. Like they, had, they had an idea, and they focused down on it. Right. And they didn't care what anybody thought. Um, uh, all right, so we're almost... Sorry. There's a little bit of legwork to get into this last part that I wanted to get into a little bit here. Dealing with a prepper right now. Mm-hmm. He says that I am no better than a terrorist. Okay. Uh, and nothing I say will convince him otherwise, so I can take my cupid and fuck off. Uh, the cupid is the thing you wear around your neck that looks like a bunch of USB sticks. Mm. Uh, that you, that's what you use to... That's how you connect them up to the network. ...get them on the network. Is yes. like you're, you're basically... like A large chunk of this game is you literally bringing a firmware update out... <laughs> to all of these different kiosks so that they can connect to the network. You know what? I'm comfortable admitting that there is nothing I love more than updating firmware. So It's great. I, Green patch notes, updating firmware. I honestly am fine with it. Um, yeah. Updating a thing is often more in, enjoyable than using the thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. Um, you're not wrong. Okay. Um, I'm going to look here, see... We are almost where we're going. Hmm. Okay. All yes. right. As of the seventh, mm -hmm. additional content and deep dive, but also still don't go past change for three. Uh, they were, I, you know, I guess it's probably fine to talk about. They were gracious enough to provide a good number of copies of this game. They, so, so. I think, they understand exactly what they have in their hands with the yes the. The number of copies distributed and the early um, delivery date of said copies. Yes. Uh, I think there's a real <clears throat> savvy understanding on Sony's part that, A, this is a long game. Mm -hmm. um, and people will need time to get through it. And it is the sort of thing that, okay. as I keep saying, you know, there's, there's that aspect of the game of, of just literally, like, everyone will be... Yeah, talking that's, about that's why I mentioned game. that we got a lot of copies of this game is that it has pretty much dominated all conversation on this staff, I believe. I don't know about that. Well, Outer, Outer Worlds close. did not fall yeah, sure. to the background no. in a way that I thought it, it might uh, when, when they both came in around the same time. But, no, um, but... Uh, but... Uh, in terms of just sort of trying to... There's a lot to discuss. Make sense, because, make yeah, sense of Make sense of, of it. And it's, it's... Yes. Uh, making sense of it is I, probably you know, I, the way to... Yeah, I, I can quite confidently say I have never played anything like this game. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's, you know, you don't... I was going to say, you don't say that you don't get to say that very often no. these days, no, and that's not entirely true. You could go out of your way to play a ton of, like, remarkable, uh, very esoteric indie stuff that, uh, that it, you know, like, people are out there doing crazy things with video games every day. But at this scale and scope, uh, from an established creator. Also, you don't often get published the sense by Sony from those other games that they're laughing at you. <laughs> Is that do you, do you do you get the sense that like some of the early moments I had with this game where I was really coming to grips with the mechanics and the controls, uh -huh. and I didn't fully have a good grasp of like okay exactly how high can I stack this cargo on my back, and you know taking yeah. the wrong yeah. tumble off of a cliff or mm -hmm. getting caught by the evil spirits and being sent to hell. Yeah. Uh, can feel pretty bad <laughs> until you get a handle on what you're doing. This is probably the last thing we should show. Yeah, okay. Right here. Here's, uh, you know, he's in the rain now, which is, uh, he's entering a BT-filled area. Do they ever tell you what BT stands for? I don't think so. I, I don't think meaning, I know. Meaning to ask you that. I don't know what BT stands for. Is uh, it the guy? 
Or is this just the the corpse, the the spirit of? They're basically spirits. electronic artist BT. Is him and the guy from Soul Coughing creeping behind you like you were DJ Rap? Entirely possible. Okay. Um, I got the weird idea prior to release that, like back around TGS, I thought I heard somebody say that it stood for Beach Things or something along that line. Those lines. That makes some sense. Uh, but I, I don't know where I got that idea from. That's not some spoiler, that's just my speculation. Uh, so, there... Your little, your little satellite guy activates when you get into these... You mean uh, my, o- my Odra deck? Uh, your satellite guy. Yes. Uh, they're, they're spirits that are bad and also invisible. So that thing acts as a directional yeah, unless range you hold finder. Your breath, right? Or if you scan, they appear. Uh, I wonder if that's one of the differences on hard. Oh. Oh, there they are. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. Huh. Or very briefly. But I kind of don't need it because that thing uh, is a directional range finder. Like it. Yeah, it'll tell you points, the, close, the one closest one to you. It points at the closest one, and the faster it flaps, the closer you are. Yeah. And if it's starting to notice you, it'll turn orange and start spinning and going nuts. Uh, and the baby will be very displeased yes. as well. I guess the baby can become afflicted with autotoxemia. There you go. Unless That's what I, I was talking about. Unless I hold my breath and slowly walk away. Also, I've made this harder on myself than I should have because I forgot the rest of my private room, which means my stamina is lower than it would be otherwise. Okay, and stamina drains faster when you're holding your breath. Yes. If you let it drain all the way, you take a big, big, loud breath, uh-huh. which would, might not be good if you have weird fucking... Oop. Beach ghosts yeah. with you, or I don't know. I don't know. Uh, essentially, the junk dealer has sent me here because he hates me and he wants me to get all this cargo out of this extremely dangerous area. I think just to mess with me. Uh, yeah, I've kind of really walked into the nest here. Well, good. We want to see some of this stuff for sure, because yeah. this is I did the this. other part of this video game. Uh, also, the rain degrades all of your equipment as long as you're in it. Yeah. Oh, I took a breath. Uh, well, this is oh, bad. Well, oh, I got caught. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I've, I have not failed this yet. I have not had this happen. Yeah. I think I may have made it out. Nope. Sometimes you can shake them off. I don't think it's going to happen this time. Oh, might be okay. Oh, I got it. Holy shit. Saved. Yeah, so it's not fatal to get caught, but it's not great. You can just kind of lose everything right there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got through this mission last night, didn't get caught. Got, uh, you only need like half the cargo out here, but if you get all of it, you get better grade. Right. And more likes. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you because get it all? You're that's, here. Uh, that's what life is Get about. it all so you can take one piece and throw it off if it gets too hard later. You might as so, well pick up everything. Yep. Um, but yeah, like, your, your your stuff will degrade the longer you're out in the rain. Yeah, or, so that's the thing where you saw, like, um, characters aging weird in the rain and stuff. It's yeah. time fall. So it, it, I guess the, the rain advances time... Again, there's a lot of supplemental material in the menus that you can yeah. get into if you want to try to listen to, or not even listen, if you want to read 30 them, seconds. trying to explain the science of this stuff. Yeah. Uh, but the more of that I read, the more I just kind of shook my head at it and went like, come on. You get what you need out of the dialogue and the cutscenes. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you don't but have like, to there's a part stuff. of me that really wants the deep oh, yeah. dive on of the course. explanation of, of this course. stuff. So, um, all right, we've got 24 seconds of footage left here. We better use it wisely. Uh, I'm not sure what else we can do from here. I might just uh, show you show a little more of this. Okay, I could just. I might just. Uh, I might just burn it here. I could just run straight into the Hellmouth. Yeah, get caught if you like. Get caught, and okay. let's show 24 seconds of what happens on the this, other side of that because this, I don't know. This is this will be liberating. Just booking it. Here we go. Oh, they got me. Okay, I ran right at this guy, and I'm still, I still have the option yeah. to shake it off. Uh, but... If you really get got... Alright, Jan, cut some of this so we can show with the gameplay stuff on the other side. We have seven seconds. <laughs> Alright. You've got a blood grenade. <laughs> oh, dude. And a very unhappy baby. Oh, the baby freaking out. Very unhappy from- baby. The baby losing it out of the controller, I feel like, just encapsulates this whole game. It's ridiculous. 
Uh, okay, so that appears to be some sort of... Um, yeah, they showed this at TGS. Breath of the Wild looking... You have to fight... You have to fight a giant animalistic BT? Okay. Let's I've, watch I've, seven seconds of this then. I've never... You threw a blood grenade into his face. I, I've really have... I've only seen this once or twice because I just haven't gotten caught a lot. You see, Sam, your blood is weird and it does damage to the BTs. Yeah. And that's it. So I think maybe if you kill this thing, you might actually get out and get your cargo back? I'm not sure. But they're not easy to kill. Okay. Um, so the lesson is don't get caught. That's exactly what I would recommend. Um, be good or be good at it, I guess. Yeah. So uh, well, I guess I can stop now for now. Yeah. Um, like I was going to mention the uh, the stuff about your cargo degrading in the rain mm -hmm. is a great example of how early on this game just feels like it is punishing you constantly. Yeah, like, like every single facet that it shows you is just like, oh, by the way, here's one more thing that is going to F you over. Yeah, like I feel like the arc of Death Stranding is that it makes you, it forces you to eat a bunch of shit for yeah. a good number of hours mm -hmm. and then like slowly alleviates the pain. S slowly sprinkles like some... Oh, now I have a spray that can fix my broken cargo that got ruined in the rain because yeah, I couldn't like, move quickly ah, because yeah. I was sneaking now around these evil spirits. Now you some like nice coconut shavings on top of this right. shit. Oh, now I've gotten a power exoskeleton that lets me double my okay, cargo capacity. now I can put this shit in a waffle cone. And not fall over. Okay. Uh, but at the core of it... That everyone will have their own feelings. No one can be neutral about Death Stranding. That is absolutely the case. Yeah. Um, um, it's... I feel a lot of different feelings about it, which yeah. Uh, yeah. is... Uh, it is the... the, the like there's a... You know, the highs, like, the highs like there's, yeah, there's some disgust with some of it. It's just like... Um, there were a handful of times before I really got my head around how to play this game and what it wanted me to do that I can't remember the last time I was as angry at a game. Mm. Mm -hmm. But now I feel like I'm just kind of breezing through stuff. Like, okay. like I said, I've still got it on hard. I got through that stealth mission we were just doing last night. Got all the optional stuff. Didn't get caught. Got, you know, I got a Legend of Legends rank. Ooh. Um. Uh, like, you can you can get to a point where... You might be having fun with this game. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I, think I believe the, you. I, the jury is out. I, I, because I, it sounds more like they alleviate a lot of the early game hassles in such a way that it tricks you into. By then, uh, you're, well, man, this is a breeze now. By then, you'll take anything you can. Now get. I'm having a great. Yeah, exactly. Like now I'm having a great time with this incredibly mundane <laughs> thing. Uh. Uh, building, Audacious. Building building stuff and, you know, encountering other player stuff can be... Yeah, yeah. I, I think there are there, there are, are really are, interesting systems at play here. Yes. And I think that's cool. And a lot of very fascinating um, ideas. And a, a, there's, that, there's that certain playfulness that you see in the Metal Gear games and stuff. And that's certainly at work here in a lot of the little, little bit, touches yeah. around the yeah. edges. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it ain't that game. It's not. It's not a Metal Gear game. Don't come into it thinking yes. that you're gonna play it like it was Phantom this Pain. Was, you know, I feel like that's obvious by now. Yeah. Um, this is absolutely not like a Metal Gear and everything but name situation. Right. At all. This, um, this thing is very much its own thing. Yeah. And I, th again, I think that's cool. Uh, yeah. I respect the shit. Out yeah. Of that, I suspect. Yeah. Even people that end up not liking this game will probably find a weird way to respecting it. Yeah. Uh, it, it's. I like like my time with the early game. It's super not for me. They literally built a game around encumbrance, which is like I'll mod out encumbrance. So when this game comes to PC, maybe I'll play Death Stranding. <laughs> I'll play the what, real Death Stranding. Like, what does that even look like? I know, right? Like, once you start, like, okay, let's mod out all the stuff that's difficult. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. What's any game when you do that, though? I guess that's fair. But this um, one in particular. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. Like we do have an opportunity to do some technical analysis, but I feel like we have uh, we have shown the different parts of the game. I don't know that we necessarily need to. Yeah, I think uh, to do much else other than to say it seems to run well. Um, yeah, I've had no I, I real like problems. the look of it. Um, um, I was again. Thinking... I think the, the the aesthetic of the some of the signs and the the S rank and some of the other little neon signy kind of looking things the way they write the the font they yeah, use yeah. i think is is nice it's the, neat the the visual and production design the um, ui stuff yeah all very attractive though i think a lot of the ui for cargo management is that fucked there are times when it, oh dude you have no idea 
at this point. Like when you get a truck, there is no way to find out what the cargo capacity of the truck is mm. other than to go in and out of these clunky menus, removing cargo piece by piece until yeah. it lets you get in the truck. Huh. Yeah, um, that's, that's not great. It can be a uh, hassle. Uh, hmm. I got one idea here. Okay. You're going to have to give me just a second. All right. While I figure this out. Our technical analysis is forthcoming. What if we were to just load up our back with as and, much cargo? And, and technically see if that if impacts just go, the game's frame rate. That's, yeah. I like it. Okay. That's a technical analysis that I can get behind. Okay. Hang on here. <laughs> Technical analysis video, 10 minutes max. Okay. You know, a smarter website would put these up as separate videos so you get two clicks instead of one. But we didn't get where we got today. I think it's being smart. It's <laughs> a fair point. So, load that shit up, man. Uh, load that shit up. Working on it. How about pack some resins on here? Couple of metals. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, some ceramics. Why not? Why not, indeed? Claim those materials. Load all those materials. Okay. Uh, that is a very rickety. Um, stack. It's a very rickety stack. Uh, the game absolutely takes the size and configuration of your cargo into account. Okay. There is an auto arrange, which I highly recommend using at every opportunity. Yeah, that's that's what like I like. If it's too top heavy, if it is like literally, you know, mm -hmm. arranged poorly, like you will have a much harder time standing up straight. Okay. <laughs> until you arrange your cargo so that the heaviest stuff is at the bottom. Also, if it's too tall, it's much easier to get spotted when you're hiding in tall grass. Oh, yeah, of course. Also, if it's too tall and you walk through a low overhang, it'll knock it off the top. And the ice cubes melt when you shoot them. Yep. Yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah. They of thought course. about, of course. They thought about it. Yeah, they thought about everything. Um, All right. All okay, right. are you loaded up and ready for that's technical a, analysis, Jan? Decent, can you re reset the clock? That's a decent stack. We're reset. All right. Oh wait, hang on. I can load way more on here. Yeah. Uh, that's a pretty good tall stack, actually. I mean, your maximum is 315, that's only 98. Uh, right. So, uh, volume matters almost as much as weight. Ah, okay. Which is another thing you just kind of have to intuit as you play the game. Sure. Uh, because you can only stack your thing so high regardless of what the weight of the individual packages are. Okay. So that's why I can't put any more on my back. So shall we head out? Let's head out. This cannot be an uninterrupted video. So okay. we will not show 10 straight minutes of no. gameplay. I don't know that we'll need 10 minutes. Great. Start the clock! <laughs> Uh, so as you can see here, it's right. uh, <laughs> something like, let's say, nine or ten. How many polygons do you figure in that hat? Layers high? Okay. Uh, quite a few, I would say. Okay. All right. Did you know there are more polygons in that hat than were in the entire character model of Solid Snake in the original Metal Gear? Wow. I'm going to say that's almost definitely true. <laughs> Actually. Even though I know you just made that up, that probably has to be true. How can, who, who can say? But wait, you said the original Metal Gear. There are no polygons in the original Metal Gear. No. Metal Gear Solid, maybe. Oh, yes. That's what, that's what I meant. It's not like we're going to get technical here. Okay. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, we're talking techn technical, so I, I want to make sure to differentiate between... Uh, I think the technical aspects of the music and the way it is used is uh, interesting, mm -hmm. uh, very cinematic in nature. Yeah, we didn't get into We really steered clear of story stuff in this video. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, just nothing but raw frame rate here, man. That's right. Seems to be holding up pretty well uh, with that fat stack. Uh, you, got a, you got a bold stack up there. Yeah. That's a hulking slab. You know, I really wanted to put this engine to the test. Yeah. Uh, you know, add as much visual detail to the scene as I could before we started our... That's a, it's a, it's a true technical analysis would do nothing less. Right. Um. Um. Now we see the camera pulling out a little bit as a combat situation erupts, and so... Wider field. Now we're going to... Yeah, exactly. Wild, a wider FOV seems to be holding up pretty well. Uh, a gorilla's engine. Yes, yeah, so you can see the, uh, the decima engine. Yeah, um... 
did really well with uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yes. And uh, seems to be holding up quite well here. And uh, I appreciate that as a fan of technical video games. <laughs> Keeping games with uh, graphics, mm -hmm. for example? Oh yeah, no, that's, yeah, to use a technical term, graphics yes. are when there are things on the screen you can see with your eyes. I would describe this all as fans of graphics. Uh, yes, I, I'm a graphics fan. It's, uh, I'm, it's maybe not uh, the end all be all, but uh, I think for some people it definitely is. Uh, and for those of you who are like that, welcome to our, our deep our deep technical analysis. Yep. Yeah. As now, you if you see. count, if you could count the pixels here, would you say there's like like what more than like a thousand? Like what, how? Oh, I would certainly hope so. Okay, great. Terrific. Uh, a lot of text appearing on screen. Some of that stuff's going over the network, and so uh, you know we're seeing these network notifications, and they don't seem to be interrupting gameplay at no, all. Certainly not. Um, I'd be fascinated to see what this game might run like if you were completely offline and what it might do with uh, the technical aspects of pulling in player structures, if it generates fake ones from fake players. Certainly. Or, uh, or if you are kind of left to your own devices, which would uh, probably make for a more difficult video game. I have really, I mean, you can opt to play this game offline if you like, but I really have found the player built stuff to be a very integral part of the experience. Yeah. Quite frankly, I think this game would be less for not having an internet connection. So I recommend playing it online if at all possible. Yeah, that seems like uh, that seems like what you would what how a player would play. How else are you going to notice that some people have figured out how to game likes on their signs by putting their signs in exact spots where you really can't avoid but walking over them? Yeah. S social engineering. Yeah, social engineering, for sure. Uh, uh, technically speaking, yes. social engin yeah. yes. engineering is maybe... In a technical sense. Yeah. Uh, this is a video game that runs and runs reasonably well. Yeah, this is running that's, on a PlayStation 4 Pro. That's my assessment. A professional PlayStation 4, uh, which enough. has a little bit more oomph uh, compared to the standard uh, PlayStation. Indeed. Um, was in some ways built for uh, 4K, which is a, a technical term for resolution. Uh, mm -hmm. 4,000. Yes. That's what that means. Runs at 4,000 resolutions. That's tough. Uh, I think that's how that works. Okay, we're seeing some of these uh, little yeah. colored lines appearing around the character, and uh, you know, these are still very functional. Uh, the game still seems to be running quite well. I think there's uh, probably only one way to end this exhaustive uh, technical analysis. Yeah, we'll look at the technical nature of, uh, well, there's just one particular texture that I think uh, is in this room that I think is so astoundingly well done. Oh gosh, you can't do it here. <laughs> oh, this does not have, does not have a private room. I never actually tried to rest there before. Uh, Those don't count as a full private rooms. Oh, wait a minute, that's one. Because you can build your own. All right. You've got four minutes. I think we'll be fine. Okay. I uh, feel like from a technical perspective, I would really appreciate a little more trucker talk. Since you are hauling cargo, I wish it would talk about, you know, cab over Pete's with a reefer on and and such. I've never, I've never encountered a player-built private room that I couldn't rest in before. Was it because you were too close to the terminal, or...? Oh. Oh, maybe that's why. Uh. Maybe, maybe they wanted to make sure that I knew that I was going to fail my urgent order. <laughs> That's fine. Now, how are the load times? Uh, Generally reasonable. Technically speaking, yeah. seem reasonable. Okay. Uh, the initial load can be a little long, but once you're in the game, it's pretty snappy. Mm -hmm. You'll see the occasional longer 10, 15 seconds, but nothing... Uh, yeah, now we, we did see a, a previous version of this um, in the TGS footage, right. uh, but uh, this didn't feature all of the same textures found here in the 
uh, domestic release. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Oh gosh, I have bad news for you. What the fuck? I'm this sorry. is the stuff from the TGS video. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Sorry. What do you think of this drink texture? It's very crisp, uh -huh. uh, but, you know, it's just not doing it for me the way oh. the monster cans were. You know, because the monster cans are taller. That's fair. Uh, so they fill up more of the screen, so you really get to see. They're very green. Uh, does it get that green and black? They've also rendered, like, all of the text on the back of the monster can Ooh. accurately. Like, that's what one of those looks like. Attention to detail. Yeah. Uh... Well, we got about three more minutes a can. Mm -hmm. Two, ish. Yeah, two. Oh, two, two minutes a okay. can. Oh yeah, this is. Uh, let me study these cans here. Okay. I mean, I could drink one for you, but. Um, not just yet. I want to. Well, okay. Go ahead and drink one. We got five here on the screen. It seems to be running well. Let's see what happens when you drink one. Nice uh, depth of field to mm -hmm. really focus mm -hmm. your attention on the drink. He really chugs that thing. Excellent use of performance capture. Yeah. Nice to, work. Uh, to capture his, uh, you know, devil may care attitude mm -hmm. as he throws away the can. Why don't you go ahead and uh, drink one more? You know what? Why don't you just go ahead and drink the rest of these? <laughs> appears to be the same performance capture each time you drink one. All right, hurry up and drink another one. We've got a minute left to drink these. You got, a, you got one minute to drink three beers. Chug, motherfucker. Oh. All right, drink this last one. Let's... Notice the number of drink cans on the table actually reduces each time you drink one. Now I'm, I'm very curious from a technical perspective what happens when you... Right in your face. The fuck? Why would you... Hey, dickhead! <laughs> there are no more beers. I think that means our work here is done. All right, well, we got 20 seconds of this table. I haven't been able to stop playing or thinking about this game for the last week. It has not gotten its hooks into me that same way. There was a time, like a week ago, when I was thinking about it a little more, and then it's, its spell was broken and all right and that's our technical analysis of death stranding that's a nice looking table a well-crafted game it runs well the yes. table runs well mm -hmm. he really he really drank those cans he did and they, they uh, spared you know they spared no expense yeah the the can renders uh, quite good unfortunately we're not able to show you the monster energy drinks but uh and save something for the player. Yeah, exactly. That's a spoiler. It's a very good texture. So it is. It is. No lie. It's it is. Trem it's a tremendously it's sharp looking <laughs> monster. It's a. It's a very round can. It's sincerely, the first thing I thought of when I saw that. Can. It's weird. Yeah, <laughs> like it was just like that's a weirdly an nice looking an can. Amazingly of Amazingly lifelike looking monster. That's <laughs> fucking video games, man. Oh man, this game is really something else. Uh, yeah. Whether it's good or bad, I think that, like, I I feel like I wouldn't even... I don't think reviews will impact this game one way or the other. You if it gets a so. bunch of awards and is, like, super well-received, which I, I have my doubt... I, I wonder. I feel, I feel like it'll be pretty divisive. Um... Yeah. That's my gut, my gut feeling. I haven't mm -hmm. gone around and talked to a bunch of people at other publications or anything, but, like... Yeah. My, my, my gut feeling is that this is going to be all over the place. And I think that like if people are interested in it and in, in Kojima's unique brand of being of, of, of that type of game, mm -hmm. and I mean that as Kojima the studio as well as the person, um, this has some of that. And it has a lot of it. It has that I in a weirdly say. unleashed way, uh, yes. like unshackled from the kind of military tropes and like 
uh, nuclear proliferation aspects of, of Metal Gear. It is like a rumination on a totally different topic. And I think that a lot of those uh, ruminations, as I said, are um, basic. But uh, I have not seen the entire game through. So maybe it does make the game, maybe it does make good and all that stuff. My understanding is that it maybe doesn't. Mm. But uh, who am I to say? Who are any of us to say anything, really? <sighs> Death Stranding is available, will be available on the PlayStation 4 in about a week, mm-hmm. as of this uh, video is posting. Yeah. So I can't wait to hear I, what people think about it. Exactly. I am very interested <clears throat> to see what the reaction to this being unleashed upon the world yes. is. Uh, It's not that it's not that it's a weird game, even. You know, I feel like that got dispelled with the TGS footage for yeah. me, yeah. where there was like, you know, there's a, a temptation to be like, "Oh man, it's so weird." And yeah. You're like, "No, I think I know. It's it's so unknowable." It's like, I know, I'm pretty yeah, sure no, I know I've, exactly. I feel like I know this game very well at this point. Yeah. So uh, keep on trucking. Oh, I intend to.